Hello everyone, this is Joanna. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I am playing with Prism Paints, Pebio Prism Paints. And now there are different types. The one that I'm using is Prism and the reason why I love them is because after they dry they create this Prism effect and it looks so amazing on pendants. I've already made one video on that so you can see it. In that video I used bezels, metal bezels, which is very simple and uh, you can get them online but today I'm doing something a little bit different uh, since the bezels are kind of restrictive because you have to use the shapes that they come in today I'm making my own bezel and uh, here are a couple that I just made the other day and this one is actually I'm working I'm gonna wear it um, today and you can see how wonderful all those all those cells are it just looks so neat I'm going to use flat wire and I'm going to show you how to make your own bezel today. So let me just cut some flat wire. This is the 16 gauge wire. So let me grab that and okay let me see where my tools are. You would think that I am ready for it. <laughs> I used wrong I Got wrong pliers. Oh my goodness. Oh, here they are. Okay. So now I'm going to try to make something that looks like this. Okay. So I'll start on one end and I'm going to start turning. All right. You get these little guys with round tips. I don't even know what the name for it is. The right way. The, the right name. And you're going to start just turning. And to you don't want to make too many nooks and crannies because it's going to be difficult to get the paint in like here for example this is way too small I should have not done it that that small okay so we're going to do that just another twist and you can use your hands to help you that's the nice thing about the wires is that they mold so easily. We're going to bend it here on top. This is going to be our top. And we're going to come around again. Just like that. Okay, now once you're on top, and we're going to go back and fix things still, but once you're on top, what I do is I grab a smaller wire and Tie it. Tie it so it just stays in place. A couple of times around. Just like that. Alright. Actually, if I had to do it again, and I don't have it on hand so I wouldn't be able to, but I would use a smaller wire for this. So now, you can go back. We have the wire here. Okay, so now we kind of have a shape, but you can go back and you can kind of fix how you want the inside to look. If you want to just look like this or what have you. Now, that's fine. I, like I said, I don't want too many small nooks and crannies, so I'm looking for bigger space. Now, with regards to what we have here on top, I'm gonna go and make the little swirly thing to put uh, to attach it to the necklace. So let's just turn that and turn some more. There. Okay, so that's gonna be it. And right here in the back, we're gonna give it a nice twist so it stays in place cut it make sure nothing is poking through and this is what we have all right so now we have that well how do we apply it to paint well have you watched my video when i was making the hearts that's exactly what we're going to do I rolled out clay 
on the thickest setting of the pasta machine. And basically, I'm just going to go in and I am going to put clay in there. So you're just going to push it, make sure it goes in. And actually, I have a few more here uh, that I've been playing with that I'm going to work on, but I'm not going to spend time showing you guys. But basically, that's what we're going to do. You're going to put the clay inside and you will bake it. You will trim it nice. Make sure there is no excess. You're going to clean it, of course, after it comes out of the oven. But this is going to be your bezel. And now you will have a place to put your Pepio paints in. So now I already have one here that I baked. So this one is going to go in the oven. This one I already baked. So now let's get started. So this one is nice and hard. You can feel it. And now I have nice surface for my Pebio paints. So let me show you how different those colors look. I'm going to use these colors. I'm going to show you how different they look. Now when you get these, uh, when you first put them on and then they will just over, wow, I don't know, over eight hours, maybe six hours, they just change the way they look. It's, it's really incredible. And you can go back and add more of one color, less of the other. Um, there you go. We're going to start with this. Like I said, I... I don't recommend small spaces because uh, you're not going to get that much of a design with them. So let's. And when if you get some paint on the metal, it comes right off. Just we can just we're going to wipe it off. I'm not even worried about it. Now you're going to let them sit at least 24 hours and what I did is I applied resin to them oh I don't wanna oh I got some at the bottom uh, I applied resin to them and resin really gives it a nice pop now before you use them one thing that you do have to remember is that you really have to mix them very well I have already been mixing them probably for two minutes each paint so that's that's a while I'm going to put some blue here and you know those pendants look amazing even when you do them in one color that's it they really are those paints are just so neat I just love them so like I said stay away from small spaces when you make these I'm going to wipe it off so we're not going to have any excess but see like for example this one that's hard to get in and you want to make sure that you do get in there okay and another thing that you have to remember is that you have to put quite a bit of them because there has to be a flow there has to be they have to be able to move okay and now let's put this one here in the middle which is exactly how I did this pendant here and you look at it and you're just like there's just no way that this is what's going to turn into but I will post on my blog the picture of how it looks when it is done so I'm gonna give it a, I want a little bit of a mix but not too much okay so this is my one thing, my first pendant, I'm going to wipe off the excess from the metal. And you can keep on watching it actually as we are working on them. And uh, you will see that they really do change. See right here, some clay pops out. I'm going to add some more paint. There's a constant movement, so you're going to have to be adjusting it. Now another thing, uh, another way of making 
one of those uh, bezels is with resin. And for example, I have one already made here. I have I have uh, one uh, pendant here or whatever the bezel, the metal bezel, and you'll grab some tape. Okay. The sticky, you're going to put it sticky side up and you're going to put your bezel on it completely. Make sure that all the edges are stuck to it. Okay. Now, you'll, what you're going to do is you will take it and you will pour resin in here. So I already poured it and cured it for 24 hours. So I don't know if you can see it. The resin was poured and now it's nice and hard. So you can peel it off and you have a bezel. This is really nice. This is simple. However, it's, uh, you know, resin is, I think, a little bit more expensive than clay. Um, but you can totally use that as well. I'm going to shave it off. But I want to show you how to do the inside first. I'm going to mess with that later. And now here is one that I made um, with the resin. And the nice thing about it is, like, looking down, you really don't see the difference. But in the back, you're going to see the difference. Now, I have not polished it yet, but I will. But you can see the, the difference in the back. You have the, the clay in the back, which I'm still going to have to uh, finish. But here you actually have um, the Pebio paint. So, let's do something fun here. Let's do rainbow effect. So, I'm going to take my red, or it's actually like reddish orange. I'm going to put some here. And 24 karat gold. At least that's what I'm thinking that it might be. And uh, yeah, these are going to be some fun colors. Our green. And blue. And again, I am going to still put resin on those. So, you know how resin really brings out, pops the colors? I can't wait for, for it to see. And, and the purple here. So, fun colors. All right. So, this one here, I think I want to put a little bit of more gold here. But you can see that they are already... There's already a nice movement. I'm actually going to leave it as is to see what's going to happen. But take a look at that. Let me bring this one up. It's been just a few minutes, but do you see how we have little cells starting to form? This is exactly what we are after. And you will never make two pendants the same. It just will never happen. It, because I mean the paints are moving and shifting and you know so it will just never happen you will always have one of a kind pendant with the Pebio paints I'm gonna add some more here and some more here so there you go I'm going to leave those for 24 hours and see what kind of design I'm gonna get and later on I'm gonna post it on my blog so check it out I am curious how it is going to turn out. Till next time, my friends. Ta-ta!